Hey people, this is Sharpino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 21 of the Pokemon Shield and Sword Let's Play. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to like find that below for us because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we did enter the Challenge Cup, the Champion Cup. I don't know why I kept saying Challenge Cup. Champion Cup yesterday, and we took on both Marnie and Hop, and apparently we've now made it to the actual champion cup apparently there were qualifiers to distinguish the gym challenges from the rest and we were successful in our endeavors to do that so we are now getting ready to uh, fight the champion but for some reason um, the champion's gone missing and now we're trying to find him but Olena Rose's chairman Rose's assistant is stopping us from doing that so our job is today is to stop that so look at our team today we've got ourselves Hati the Copper Raja Tina the Boltund Bengalo our start of the Rylaboom hashtag group again Bruce the Octavish, Basilisk the Sandaconda, and Esmeralda the Hatrine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get the episode. So now we're looking for a dude with the dark shades. Around here somewhere. So see these guys there with the clear shades? Now we're looking for a guy with um, dark shades. Okay, so that, that's not him. Um, that's not him. That's clear. No, that's clear as well. Ah, here he is. Hey, Sharpino, this bloke's awfully shifty, but I can't get him to turn around. Say something surprising that he'll have no choice but to turn this way. Miss Elena's here. What? Blast, I turned around, and I can't escape. In that case, time for a Pokemon battle. You're a douchebag. Macrocosmos's Eric. Okay, so we've got a Steel type. This is a steel type. We've got a big steel elephant versus a tiny steel cat. Yep, this should go well. Slash. Yeah, who could have seen that coming? You have a goddamn glaring me out. What do you expect? It's a little tiny cat. A Durant. We'll stay in for a Durant. My cheese will really get you going. Thanks. Oh. Speed rose sharply. Even with a speed boost, I don't think we'd still have speed of Durant. Nah, I didn't think so. I mean, hearty is one thing, but fast is not one of them. Maybe if I get a speed reduction, maybe? Wait a second, doesn't Bulldoze reduce the speed? So how the hell is it not getting this... Wait a second. Ah, I've Sheer Force. That's why I haven't been... Ah, okay. Alright, well that makes more sense then. That explains why last episode I'm like, hang on. Is there an ability that doesn't allow me to... Um, but um, yeah, Sheer Force? Hell yeah. What an amazing ability. I don't even know Hearty got that ability, but now I do. So you could use a Life Orb Hearty and no one wouldn't even notice. Haha. <laughs> That would actually be pretty cool if you think about it. So we do get defense reduction, but that's okay, because Bulldoze is going to get the job done. Now I finally discovered what the issue is. Don't suddenly talk to me like that. I accidentally turn around. You're the idiot to turn around. It's not my fault you fell for it. All I need to do is hide, and I won't have to give you the key. Haha! Well, there's a wonder how fast a guy could run. I've got no idea what one gov. Alright, let's go ahead and sort the team around. Let's go ahead and let Hatrine actually come out. We haven't let Hatrine really uh, showcase her stuff as of yet. Alright, now we're going to try to figure out where the hell he's just appeared off to. Is that him over there on the left now? That He wasn't there before. How'd you find... Oh, just... Did you just talk to everyone you met? Bah, whatever. I'll defeat you this time. Um, you couldn't defeat me the first two times. What makes you think you got it this time, buddy? Marwile. Okay, so I'm guessing this guy is like a steel-type user. 
Alright, so we got Anticipation. Let's go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball. Outspeeds goes for Crunch. That is neutral. Does a little bit of damage, nothing major. I love Shadow Ball's animation this game. Oh my god, we flatlined Marwile. God damn! But then we are Life Orb, so go figure. Uh, Bangla wants to learn Endeavor. No, we're not going to teach you Endeavor. Uh, Escadrill. Okay, yes, we definitely just walked down that. Let's go and bring in Brucey. Oh, Brucey! We need your attention. We require your assistance. Feel that flow, yeah? You feeling the Sharpina? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Alright, we got boosted defense. Okay, let's go for a liquidation. Crush Claw. Freaking hell. <laughs> We're fat! Look at that. Let's go. Big Bad Brucey. And I even switched up my Pokemon while I was running. Okay, so I guess that's the general theme of it. But they've all been Steel types, so they haven't been really that different. They say hide a tree in the forest, so I thought I could hide myself in a crowd. Okay, so you went over here, directly into the phone booth. Hey buddy, I can see ya. Get out of the phone booth. You're way too observant, but I'll win this time and make my getaway. You can say that all you want, but you ain't going nowhere. Pharisee. You can at least have some more intimidating Pokemon if you want to do it like that. I mean... Anticipation. Alright, let's go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball. Wow, it survived. Pin Missile. That is neutral. Ooh, Pin Missile's animation though. That's four. Five times. Wow, this Ferrothorn is one lucky ducky. Yeah, have some of my support. I know I can keep the beat going. You're the best, Barney. Now we've got an attack boost. Alright. Let's go for a Psychic. We'll end this Ferrocede. Last Pokemon is a Steelix. Um. Hmm. Let's bring in the Basilisk. If you don't, I know we've got an attack boost here, but we ain't gonna do too much with Steelix. Let's be real here. We ain't gonna do too much. We'll bring in our ground type and take on this ground type. Alright, let's go for a big ol' Earthquake. It survived. Wow. Kudos. Rock Slide. My defenses are sky high, my friend! Sky freaking high. Let's go for another Earthquake and wrap this battle up. Down goes the Steelix, buddy! And Boltan Tina is level 54. Hating didn't work and battles didn't work. Only thing to do now is run! Well, don't you be that punk ass and run away. Seems like you got me cornered, but I'm not going to give up. An earful for Miss Alina is way worse than anything you can do. Good luck catching me on the monorail. Team Yo, go find Hop. We'll corner that League staff member at the station together. Okay, so now we're going to try to corner him now. Um, I need to hit my Pokemon up though. Uh, that would be great. Oh, great. Now there's four of them. They're guarding the monorail. You did a cracking job at calling that bad Lee staff member, Sharpina. Let me sing you a song fitting for your rockin' deeds. The only thing a humble singer can do is a single humble song. Maybe I can cheer someone on just with the tunes I play. Maybe my songs don't make anyone happy, maybe I can't help. But still the only thing I could do is sing, sing my humble song. Piers! Go Piers! 
Hey, isn't that Peters? Why is he doing a street performance? I think you mean a station performance. Come on, let's see if we can get closer. Everyone's taking notice. Hey, even the glaring zigzagoons are there too. Like, yeah, that's our song. Yeah. <laughs> Ah! We got the key, Piers! We can take the monorail to the Rose Tower now! Sharpina, hop! Now's your chance! Now go! Get out of here! Search for the bad league staff member hiding. I thought we already did. That is a big tower. So this is the Rose Tower. Just how tall do you think it is? I can't even see the top up there in the clouds. So what do we? So what should we do? Team Yell's going to have their hands full holding up those bad league staff members. They won't be catching up anytime soon. Yeah, Sharpena, what should we do? Let's go on ahead. Good thinking. We'll, let's go collect Lee and get out of here. Without him, there's no champion for you and to champion to challenge the Champion Cup. Sharpena, you clear the way to Rose Tower. Now all you got to do is charge on ahead. An employee is an employee, I guess. Seems that exec lady hid the monorail key to try to impress the chairman. Chairman Rose has been keeping the champion holed up inside. Wonder what he's plotting. That makes you and me both. Oh, hey, Piers, made it back. Times like this, when tension and passion run high, remind me of Spike Booth in the old days. Some right wild concerts we held back then, but no encores. Still, wait, wait, you're still here? You better get going. I'll send some support your way with a yell. Gotta stick around and make sure my bro doesn't get to do anything too crazy, right? Come back if you need anything. Let's go, Sharpino. Um, I need to heal my Pokemon. Hello, I did say that. Unless my Pokemon are healed. No, they are not. And that's exactly why I wanted to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and heal up here. And we'll go ahead and heal up here. Now, I've noticed that all these staff members have Steel types, so... Maybe it might be my best interest to go ahead and put the Basilisk at front here. I definitely think that would be the way to go. Is there anything over here to the left? There is! What this? An electric sea for the ter electric terrain. What about the other side? Is there anything on the other side here? Oh, there is too! Is it another electric seed or a different one? A cell battery. If hit by electric attack, it boosts its special attack once. Alright, let's do this. We're going inside. Let's see here. Whoa, it's huge in here! What in the world is this place meant to be? I can see the roses underneath us. Listen, Sharpina, don't know if you know this already, but I've already heard that Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and we have a bit of a space, we can Dynamax our Pokémon. Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can take us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? You'd be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. Intruder alert, intruder alert. All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. See? If Miss Elena says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. And just like every single grunt goon, always worrying about a freaking pay rate. And here comes a Durant. Okay, so then I was correct. We'll be taking on some Steel types. Alright, let's go for a Rock Slide instead. Agility. You think I care about your speed, Durant? I know you're a fast cookie. I know that you're faster than me. Anyways. Okay, but it looks like we're going to need an Earthquake to get us out of this. So, buddy! Iron Head. Look at that. Nothing. Nothing. Earthquake! There we go. We get the job done. Down goes that Durant. Having to, having to give up my pocket money, losing it means I'm back in the red. Well, what are you doing with your money that caused you to go back in the red? But my bonus. I dream of finally affording a house of my own. We need to speak to Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift, the chairman's at the top of the building. Alright, we're nearly at to Chairman Rose. Hold up, Lee, we're coming. 
Come on, Sharpino, let's crack on. Um, well, I mean, he's not wrong. Uh, All right, let's go. Let's do this. Wow. That is cryptic, to say the least. Definitely cryptic. All right, we're going up. Okay, Chairman Rose, we're coming. We're going to come get you. This is taking ages. Well, it's a tall building, Hob. Calm down. And I dropped my phone. Nice. What? I don't think this is the roof yet. Why have we stopped? Of course. There's the cavalry. You two are gym chums, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Galar League's gym challenge. Yet I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere with our work. We will drive at you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold, the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. Okay, so these guys are like Macrocosmos people. Okay. Cufant and Bronzong. Both steel types. And double. Oh yeah, that punk ass double. Alright, well to get your reversal kicking, let's get an earthquake going. Not very effective. We got Earthquake. Bronzong has Levitate. That is a problem. Okay, we got rid of Qfint. That's one less thing we're gonna worry about. Extra sensory. Great, now you're in range for freaking that reversal. There we are. Let's go for a headbutt. Let's try to flinch this bitch. We don't flinch it. Sorry, Double. I was trying to help you. <laughs> Corbinite. Another Pokemon that can't do anything to... An oh, my God. Let's go for a Rock Slide. Does double damage because it's a single Pokemon. And Drill Pack. Not enough. But we get the flinch though. Yes, there we go. Get the job done, son. Let's do this. Head butt. Down goes the bronze on. Yeah, that's how we do it, baby. Bruce level 54 and Hearty's level 54. Everyone look at nice and healthy 54. We create an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction when it comes to our dedication to work. Okay, your work ethic may be good, but your battle ethic sucks. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respect the retreat. Yet I must ask you once more that you do please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. The yellow bears in Rose Tower are also constructed so that only the floor ascends. But that presents some danger. That's the presence of these walls constructed of light. You can thank Macrocosmos Construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Wait, so the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Finally, thank you. Some healing power. I do appreciate that. Hi, so is this the top now or are we going to get stopped again? Okay, something's up we're getting stopped again. There we go. More cavalry. Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now about 500 feet above the ground. I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? Uh, no, and I don't plan on having it with you guys. Something tells me I would have a lapse in insurance if I did that. Okay, Marwile and uh, Claim. Okay, so we get intimidated. That's a little annoying. Man, oh man. Alright, let's go for an earthquake. Let's hit everything here. Doubles is going to keep going for its body slam. Get a little bit of damage, but we do get the paralysis though. Good stuff there. Earthquake! Take out both competitors. Let's go. They seem to be all about the steel types. And Basilisk is now level 55. Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. This building is well over 500 feet tall. That's as tall as about around 100 machokes standing on top of each other. 
Uh, thank you for the analogy. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Unfortunately, insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Seems like a pretty bad insurance policy, if you ask me. Alright, heal up, and let's go up. Up, 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 it up. Up, 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 it up. I'm guessing we've had three, two interruptions. That means there's one more door left to be interrupted from. Here we go. You're nearly to the top, but you're not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. I work high in the sky as I'm not doing my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. So this must be the final battle, if I'm not mistaken. And Darlin and Justin. Stumfisk and Steelix. Ooh. Now we've got some tough customers over here. Alright. Hit him up with another earthquake. Thankfully I chose Sandy Ga uh, Sandy Conda. Sandy Gas? Sandy Conda. No paralysis there, but we're gonna hit the earthquake. And everyone survives. That is a surprise. Unless you're trying to do some sort of, uh, you know, special attack there, Stumpfisk, I ain't scared. And you missed your slam, Steelix, that's hilarious. <laughs> Reversal. And down goes the Bear Trap Stumpfisk. And Esmeralda is level 55, wants to learn Healing Wish. Yeah, we're not going to learn Healing Wish. Now, sorry Double, I know you've been doing well, but this is going to kill you too. We must make sacrifices for the greater good. Down goes the Steelix. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos Air when it comes to our dedication to our work. You even get that floaty feeling when the lift is going up? Um, yeah, it doesn't anyone. Don't just presume... Don't you presume to meet the chairman. You're not on the same level as such a great man. You must know that in high rise such as this one, the higher you go up, the more important the people you find working there. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but of all Galar. Um, no, he's not. Alright, heal up. Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. Who better look sharp than me? Being sharp, Pino. Ha <laughs> ha. So it looks like that was the last interruption. And it feels like we're going to finally see the chairman. Is this it? Chairman Rose. No, it's this bitch. Oh my god. <sighs> Welcome to Cha welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space, here nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So you got through all of the special stuff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Because... Whoa! Okay! Chill out! I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose! You shall be the first, Sharpino. If I beat you to pieces, then the champion will have no one to battle with thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Okay. Chill the fuck out. Okay. That is terrifying. Frostlass is the first Pokemon. Okay, she's back to normal now. Okay, at least she's back to normal. That is terrifying. Oh, we can actually Dynamax over here. Okay. Okay, so against Frostlass, let's see here. Who would be the best opponent for you? That would be Hearty. So let's go ahead and swap it to Hearty. Being a pure Steel type will handle those Ice type moves, no problemo. Will O Wisp. And we dodge it though. Urgh, let's go. Let's go for a Heavy Slam. That should okay Frostlass. Double Team. Hopefully, this one double team is not going to affect us at all. We got it. So like Frostlass weighs like nothing. No surprise there. Good job, Hearty. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. It's a Pokemon battle, we expect. Next up is a Salazzle. Ooh, okay. Um, let's send in old Brucey. Brucey! We require your assistance. Righto, our big bulky boy over here should be able to handle this last one. Poison gas! Come on, man, you could have done anything else, but you chose to do that lame move. You were poisoned, but not badly poisoned. Liquidation! Hoo! Down goes the lazzle.
Next up is Serena. Okay, um... Let's go into... Esmeralda. Let, let Esmeralda have a turn. Hit him up with a psychic attack. Acrobatics. Does some decent damage. Good job, Serena. Ooh, but Life Orb does not seem to get the job done. Hmm. Dazzling Gleam. Acrobatics again. Um, I think Life Orb is going to kill us. I think maybe we'll have to take that light bulb off Esmeralda and put it on Hearty. <sighs> that is a shame. Alright, let's go ahead and bring in Tina. Melodic. Wow, how perfect! Let's go, Tina! We haven't used you since we had a team purge. Wild Charge! Let's go! Power right there! A Garboder. Alright, let's go ahead and bring back out the Basilisk to handle this Tycoon over here. I think this is her last Pokemon, if I know this any better. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Oh, when has got to finish this? Oh, she's gone back to being psychotic. Okay. <laughs> here is Garboder. Alright, let's go ahead and Dynamax Quake this bitch. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. A Gigantamax at Rose Tower. Oh my god, look at this thing! It's got toys and buildings and stuff! Oh my god. Like giant toys. Wow. If you don't want to highlight the fact it's for kids, that'll do it right there. Look how big my Santa Condor is, though. Look at that fat neck, though. <laughs> Goodness gracious, can you see his nose? Garbota goes for a max quake. That's kind of ironic, because I was about to do the same thing to you. And see how much damage that did? That did jack shit, buddy. Spadef rise. There we go! Let's go! What's a Garboda to my Santa Conda, bitch? Okay, that mofo. Let's go! And Bachelor's level 56. Santa Conda, baby! Let's go! <sighs> I wasn't able to win. Alina, you really are a hopeless woman. Sorry, but I gotta see the chairman. Ah, oh, this is inexcusable! What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal school circumstances, I would have tried to delay you any further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There's nothing to be done now. Typical Sharpina, you and Santa Conda are unstoppable. Everything I did, I did to further the chairman's own goals. And there's Chairman Rose and Leon. Uh, buddy, we got a match here. Leon, uh, we've discussed this a hundred times already, and still you fail to understand what's at stake. You, who was supposed to be our champ- Oh, I'm thinking more. Leon, I think I understand it well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion isn't this. This madness is to carry out the championship match. That's what Galar wants, and what I want. It's what we've all been wa looking forward to for so long. No, you don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look at us, Leon. Look at the Galar region stretched out before us, and know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennial from now. The people of Galar today will no longer even exist. What Galar wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. 
We must act as quickly as we possibly can. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? Fine, look, I think I understand your concerns, Chairman. And I give you my word I'll help you with your plans, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Lee, you never showed up when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Piers and Marnie and all those team yell oddballs, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop, if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Sharpina. Let's head back to the hotel and we'll grab our dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you excuse me, Chairman Rose, and I'll do... I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. I'm sure you'll be the one you'll be to be one for the history books. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We know I am going to change the course of history. Oh boy. You know it's not good when a cutscene ends like that. The next evening. Looks like we're ready for the, for, the, for the Champion Cup. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Challenger Sharpina, the finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Intellion, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not one of those league, like those league other league staff. I'm a good one. If I may say so myself. I heard about what happened yesterday. Ms. Elena can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah, Shapina? Let's go. I can't wait another minute. Would you like me to show you your way to the we didn't see him? Yes, please. I trust you. Then let's be on our way then. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it looks like that's going to be us for today's episode. So the lot has went down today, but next episode, guys, the Champion Cup does begin. So guys, I will say thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like the button down below for us because as always, just support's great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Shield and Sword Let's Play as we do go ahead and start the Challenge Cup. Challenge Cup. Fuck. Champion Cup in the Galar region. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, by the way, before I go, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are enjoying it. I do appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you for guys for coming. And uh, don't forget the notification bell so you guys know when the next video drops in your sub boxes on the YouTube. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.